Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and donated to my channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has commented on my videos. I don't have time to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment. So again, thank you. Now, this is a general reading. It is not going to resonate with everyone. There's just too many of you out there watching and you know, you're all uh, experiencing different things. Now, um, the only way for you to get something just for you is through a private reading. Also, uh, you will see that this month, um, for the mid-month readings, I am going to be shuffling on camera. This is because I'm not going to draw as many cards as usual, okay? Um, when I draw a lot of cards, it's just, it's a lot of time in, um, if I do it on camera, it's a lot of time in upload for, uh, for the video. So to save this upload time, I shuffle off camera. Um, so that being said, this is for the last two weeks of December for the sign of Aquarius. And um, let's begin. They, these decks have been pre-shuffled. So I will just shuffle them a wee bit and uh, we'll get started. I will be using um, the Golden Rider Weight uh, Universal along with the After Tarot and if I need more clarifiers for your outcome I will be drawing from the uh, Tarot of the New Vision which is already prepared here. So let's begin. So I begin with one card for the main draw and then I'm going to actually uh, clarify that with the after tarot. Any card that kind of flips out like that one did um, generally carries an important message so I've I'm placed it there and I'll see how it pertains to this reading. So the card that flew out of the deck there is the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So you could be um, dealing with an earth sign or this could be a boss. Um, perhaps for some of you, um, you are looking to change jobs or even start up your own business with this card here. Um, perhaps you are um, building something uh, with regards to your security. So let's see what the cards bring up here. Yeah, you see here at the uh, center, uh, and the, the central issue is the three of coins. So this would suggest that for some of you, okay, you are working on something. You're working hard towards something and possible uh, recognition here, okay? At the root of this is the three of wands, again, speaking to career. Uh, the page of cups the Five of Cups here, and the uh, Ace of Cups in the outcome. So bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. I'll set that over here. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll leave those there. Now, We'll find out why these cards have turned up for you. And you see this card is just jumping out of the deck here. We have the devil. Okay, so I'll set it there. Some of you could be trying to build something and it's like you're feeling stuck here with the devil. It's like you're not getting anywhere. You're having a hard time perhaps getting something off the ground.
Okay, at the bottom of the after tarot, I do have the judgment card. Now, the judgment card can speak to, um, for some of you, if this is a relationship, perhaps wanting a second chance at something, or um, you could be, if I look at the cards here, maybe somebody is asking you for a second chance and you're turning them down, or this could be vice versa. Judgment can be about uh, a decision. It can be uh, after going through some challenging energy, rising up from the ashes. Judgment is about uh, wiping the slate clean, getting another chance at something. But I feel here, uh, if I look at these, this is a chance that was turned down or, or an offer that was turned down. So um, over here, we have this um, Seven of Swords energy and beneath that the Eight of Wands. So um, I feel that for some of you, um, it's possible that your partner cheated and then you found out and they came back wanting uh, this second chance here, okay? And um, you turned down their offer. You refused, refused flat. That's it. It's over. Okay, with this. Um, for others of you, if this is a work situation, you could be trying to hold on, hoping things will get better. But I feel for some of you, um, you may have lost a job and are trying to get something going or trying to build something. There's some sort of change here, this huge change that comes uh, with regards to an offer. Um, something that really touches you on an emotional level. For a lot of you, this is going to be a relationship. Uh, somebody had cheated, very likely, or somebody has been sneaking around. Um, possibly they have addictions, and you want to get to the truth of it here. You uh, could be hoping and praying for news from this person, some of you, um, and perhaps they have... Um, they're not emotionally invested, but you want a second chance because we have, this is a card of wanting a second chance. And so is judgment. You could be having insecurities, um, with regards to finances or with regards to your, uh, home and relationships here. Um, for some of you, this is the tower moment that came in on a commitment because of cheating, because it's got, the, we have the devil, we have tasting of uh, the forbidden fruit, and I have this three of wands here. For some of you, this is uh, simply, it, this is like a, uh, a long distance relationship, because this person is looking out. So uh, very likely, and suspecting that things are going on, that this is going on, behind their back and then they find out that it actually is going on behind their back. The person that they wanted to have an, a, com a commitment with is not invested emotionally and this is what you, for some of you, could be finding out. Um, I feel that here um, you are still trying to hold on to this relationship in the near future here, hoping that things will get better. You want them to get better and you, you know, uh, you don't want to lose this person. But the truth has come out here. So for some of you, you're dealing with that. For others of you, you're dealing with a a job loss. You could be feeling stuck because you are trying to build up uh, some some sort of um, perhaps starting a business of some kind, or you are simply looking for work. And perhaps you haven't found anything yet with this uh, Four of Cups. You're definitely um, unhappy with your present situation here. And it's, it's almost like you fear stepping out 
of this comfort zone that you find yourself in here because you're holding on uh, holding on to your finances you may not be poor uh, but you're you're really holding on to those finances um, and you know perhaps this is um, somebody that is afraid to uh, step out and learn something else is what I'm getting here. Yeah. It's like they're they're stuck in that uh, okay, this is what I this is what I know, this is what I'm doing. I don't want to learn anything else. It's like that type of energy for some of you. And, you know, this is what I want to do. And by maintaining that mentality, it's like you're, you're, you're stuck, you know, and you're, you're unable to move forward. So for some of you, this is going to be about work and perhaps finding a new job. Um, for some of you, even in the workplace, there could be uh, things going on here and you are unhappy in the workplace. And you know, perhaps for some of you, you were turned down for a promotion. Perhaps you needed to brush up on your skills to get that promotion. So, you know, um, in these general readings, it can be so many different things that are going on here. Um, you know, there could be um, manipulation going on uh, in the workplace uh, on an emotional front because I, I do have all these cups here. You may have been told one thing, but given another. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, you could be, uh, with this Seven of Swords energy, there could have been some sneakiness going on in the workplace. Um, and, you know, you could be trying to get to the truth of matters, or you know or suspect things are going on gossiping um, and you're just trying to hold on maybe you're, you're trying to find something else but you haven't found anything else yet and so um, I just want to draw I'm going to draw a card from here You could be dealing with a uh, for some of you is in a relationship. Um, you could be um, dealing with somebody who could be um, emotionally abusive here. I see that you, um, you want to, um, for some of you, this is having to do with starting up your own business and you can be quite successful at it. For others of you, you're in a, you were in a relationship where, um, you're feeling alone here.
in business, this card would suggest to me that this is somebody that will do anything to get to the top to move forward. So there is a warning here to do to be careful. because you see here, you see the back of the chariot and you see that um, uh, two people are chained behind there. Uh, this could even represent you feeling, I suppose, like a slave because those are two slaves being pulled behind that chariot there in the workplace. I'm trying to to um, see where this is going here. Hermit. So I, I feel that a lot of you are doing some um, reflection on this. And uh, if this is a work uh, situation, you're not happy here. And I feel that um, either, either you're going to leave that job, which is going to, to cause a huge, a huge change, or you've left a job that has caused a huge change but, and started something else, but it hasn't taken off yet. But I feel that through your efforts, um, you can make this work and that you can make things happen because... We have the nine of pentacles over here in your um, in your future. So I feel that this is an increase in finances for you. You go from a three here in the center um, to the nine of pentacles over here. So that's quite a difference. So I think that if things are slow and not moving right now, there is um, there's going to be a huge change with regards to that. And I don't think that this is a bad change. This is actually a good change for you. So I do feel that things are going to get better here for you. Um, it's, it's here, it's like an emotional fresh start, okay? And you are the one that is making this happen. And, you know, for some of you that are in this, um, that are having relationship issues, I see that either you or your partner wants to be single. Wants their freedom. Wants an emotional fresh start. So like these messages can go either ways. Some of you are feeling very insecure about this, um, this new start because there is a new start here for you. But you have to step out of that comfort zone. And there is success for you if you can do that. Step out of that comfort zone. If you have to brush up on your, your skills in order to, uh, to advance in your company or in order to advance, uh, to start up this business, um, then, you know, you need to decide to do that. That's up to you, whether you want to do this, do you want to succeed or do you not? Do you want to stay in this, this, um, zone of fear. And you have judgment sitting here and uh, um, this can bring in karmic blessings. And so can this. We have justice at the bottom of the deck here. So, you know, I feel that um, if you if if you put the effort and, and you do it right, you know, um, then good things are going to come back. 
don't run over people to get to the top is what I'm saying. Be fair and be just and um, good things will come to you. And that's basically the message on this card. So that's what I've got for you. It's difficult to try and get all these messages for all these different situations in these general readings, but I've pulled out um, the most that I can, that I see, that I feel. And uh, I thank you for watching. And uh, if you would like to book a private reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Many blessings to you. Bye for now.